everybody, it's your boy Don. We are back with another video on a Saturday. Another video? Is this a fake video? I don't know, man. It might not even be him. But it is. What's going on, everybody? Man, we got to talk about Patrick Ewing today, man. This this whole Patrick Ewing thing has been on my mind for a couple of days. And this happened on March the 11th. What's today? Is today March the 11th? No, it didn't happen today. Okay, yeah, it did. So the original thing happened on March the 11th. And I've been seeing it here and there. You know, people arguing, debating about it. You know, so the, the story basically goes, I'm going to summarize it. Uh, Patrick Ewing, you know, he's the coach of, of, of Georgetown, right? Yeah, Georgetown. And he was in the building for the Big East tournament. Security and MSG stopped him because they didn't know who he was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but that's that's uh that's crazy. You know, that's crazy, you know, and, and Patrick Ewing goes on to say they should know who the hell I am. Yes they should, Patrick. Yes they should. And uh it's kinda sad. Um so in in and let me just read the tweets that have come out today. Uh, Madison Square Garden Entertainment issues a statement saying Nick's owner James Dolan and Nick's letter Patrick, Dr Patrick Ewing spoke today after Ewing said he had difficult difficulties today with MSG security during the MSG during the Big East tournament. Jim and Patrick have a long-standing relationship. They spoke this afternoon and reaffirmed that we all know, respect, and appreciate what he means to the Garden in New York. Good luck to him and his Hoyas in the Big East semifinals. Okay, so Ewing spent 15 seasons and he get, made it to the Hall of Fame. Of course, with the Knicks, his number 33 ranks into, hangs into the rafters. You know, um, he's he's the legend. You know, right? He's possibly probably the best player to ever play for the Knicks. You know what I mean? And and why did this happen? I'm gonna focus on the why. You know why? Why did this happen? Because I know the answer, but I, I'm I want to segue into it this way. Look. The truth is, this is what happens when your basketball team just hasn't really been good really since you left. That is just the truth. And why do I say that? And, and, and a lot of people a lot of people might say, well, Don, uh, what does that have to do with, you know, uh, just security knowing your name? Well, let me tell you. People forget when when teams aren't good and the Knicks have been historically bad and there's a part of me that says well hey if you're security you sh you should know who is who i i think you're told okay so and so is going to be in the building today mr patrick ewing is going to be in the building you should know who he is and if you're from new york or even work in new york even if you don't watch basketball like that if you hang around new yorkers and you hang around basketball you know patrick ewing you know that's just our guy you know now, look, unfortunately, as, as sad as it may be, when, 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 when you look at how long it's been that the Knicks actually have been nice until now, you know, like they haven't really been a good basketball team. So I think that um, the expectation should be that you should be honoring people who have done something that nobody else has done since. You know, that should be the expectation. You know, the, it, it shouldn't be that you walk into the building and you don't know. Like, Patrick Ewing has to be, like, over seven feet tall. Like, you don't know who Patrick Ewing is? Are you serious? And I know we're in the time that we're wearing masks, but still, you know, you, you should know. You should know who Patrick Ewing is. But I, I think that a lot of this has to do with what the New York Knicks over the years had become. And I, I want to say had become because, really, from this year on, I think we're finally starting to roll the gears, so to speak, into something different that we... Like, you know, your, your image sometimes as a franchise is, is very important. And when I say image, what do you represent to the league? And, and what do you represent to the organizations, whether it's college or, or professional basketball, you know? Because, look, if this is Michael Jordan, if this was Derek Jeter... Uh, uh, if this was Michael Strahan, uh, I, I, I'm trying to name New York people. Uh, pfft, uh, who else? Who else? New York people. New York people. Victor Cruz, Eli Manning. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking like people. Pe people. People know, especially in New York, because New York is a big sports city. People know who's who around here. So I, I think it's it's no excuse for them to not know who, who Patrick Ewing is. You know, and it's kind of sad. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. But there's a, there's a small part of me that feels, well, more than a small part, that feels that 
this has to do with your organization just not being well like well represented anymore and 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 as look Patrick Ewing is associated with success you know what I mean there has been no success since he left so the image of him fades away while his jersey hangs in the rafters it's almost like a damn poem <laughs> or something like that you know what i mean and and you can say well don it doesn't matter but but it, it really does though it really does you know it, it's it's just a different it's just a different feeling you know it, it, we're not the yankees and we're not the bulls michael jordan can walk in there on a sunday 8 p.m everybody knows who michael jordan is and i'm not saying patrick Ewing is michael jordan but he is our equivalent of the greatest to ever do it so you know what I mean? I, I I think that is sad. I I think that is sad that and it's painful that when you think about it that the that the Knicks have taken so long to do something right. Because it shouldn't be like that. You know, it speaks to more than just Patrick Ewing walking into the building. A lot of us will fans hold on to the old image of the Knicks because that's all you really have. You don't you don't have any recent good memories of the Knicks until maybe now, this year. I just had a, a uh, a video that I'm posting later today, Julius Randle with the with the first triple double since 1988. Do you know what? We're, we're in 2000. What 2021? Do you understand? So this is where we are now as as an organization. But I think it's sad. It's sad if it, because if it was another organization, these things wouldn't happen. And okay, lastly, from the security's perspective, you can say, well, I'm just a security guard and. I, I'm just here to do my job. You know, I'm here to do my job. No matter who you think you are, I have a job to do and you have to let me do that job. But I think part of your job, like I said before, is also to understand who's walking into the building. If you know Patrick Ewing is walking into the building, you shouldn't give Patrick Ewing a hard time. One, and two, he's like seven foot tall. How could you not recognize who he is? He probably played basketball. If if if, if somebody is over six four, six five. You know, he's the coach of the damn team, too. You know what I mean? There's so many wrong things, but it's 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 the old way of the Knicks. And I say the old way because I do think that we've been trying to change these images. So many, so many bad experiences, whether it was Oakley's situation or it was the situation with the fan and then Dolan kicks him out the arena. And, you know, you don't want to come to any more Knicks games. But that that's enough of that. What do you guys think about that? You know, because I, I I did think it was painful, but it, it kind of, in a way, even though Ewing's legacy is associated with mostly success. So okay, okay, he didn't win a championship, but it was a successful time. You know, uh, it's kind of fading away because as you transition from that, you had just many many years of not really being successful, and you know, it's almost like people forget about that. You know, it's it's uh. It's painful, I think, for him because he knows that the team hasn't really been that good until this year. You know, you, you would hope that people would at least remember what you helped do because nobody since you has done it, and that should mean a lot. But let your boy Don know in the comment section, man, what you think about this. Because I, I was thinking about this for like three days. I was like, you know what, let me give my opinion just to just to put it out there and, and, and see what you guys say. You know what I mean? Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy these videos, man. We make Nick videos every day you know we do the live stream every day we do the watch along every day when they have a game facebook group is active a lot of you guys are on there as well appreciate that for now it's your boy don like i'm subscribe you enjoy these videos and i'll see y'all next time man peace i'm out